hello friends so in this video tutorial we will learn about your data cleaning in your sql mysql so how you, we will do data cleaning in mysql so like we have a user uh, database here with the name use your database and we have a tables here so if i will go to this database and see the table so i have a clean company now name with the clean database clean company is the name of the database so in this database like we have id we have name we have industry year founded employees state and cities like some of the data is missing in this database like here if you will go in our name so we don't have name in 13 and 14 id rows industry we don't have industries here three time like in years we have a null value and beside that we have a value which is of 32 2032 year similar in employees we also have some null values and in states we also have a complete value so these are the data here now if you want to first of all what i will do i will give this year name in uh, in uppercase so these names should be in uppercase so for for that what i will do i will go here and type update because we are updating our database i will put here cleaned company and then I will go to the next line and put set name equal to upper and inside that I will put name so I will update all name in uppercase so what it will do like if I will run this command I will select this and run this and then I will see our database so you will see that all our name are in uppercase so this way we can make them your uppercase next is like here uh, we can uh, find out like if there is null value in null so we have some null value in name and we want to put some like year flex instead of null so how we can do that for that i will again type update name of our database clean company then i will go to next line and type set name equal to i will put here uh, some name here like year flex here and just close this I will put a single column here and then where I will write a command here which is where I will put it in where name is null and just close this so update clean company like we have in a table clean company where set name is equal to year flex like we have here null values and we want to put here like we have one null value here and put here year flex so let's see how it will work so now if you will see our table if you'll go to a table and see the details so now you can find everywhere name similarly we can do here also we will put software here so for that what i will i will just copy this and change it over this i we can even change it here set industry sorry not there from uh, sorry we have to a uh, clean name here flex from here update clean company instead of name we will put here i will write it from the beginning i will just remove this 
and here in update clean name and here I will put industry and in industry I will put software and it should be a capital so it should be like software where name where your industry is null so first of all we put in the name then we will put in the industry so we have two null here so it will put their software so clean industry where industry is null then I will just run this select command and see so we have do that next is like we have null value here and in here uh, uh, what we will do like we have a year which is null and we want to put zero so what we can do there for that I will again I will just remove this and update clean company set here the name of our column is year founded equal to 0 so we have to set it 0 I will put here where here form date is null so I will put 0 there and just run this now if you will see our table so we have put there 0 like wherever we have null like we have one value which is 32 and we want till our current date so for current date what I will do like we don't need we need values up to current date we want to remove this value so, so we have to delete this so what I will do I will just remove this and write delete from clean company then I will put where command here found it is greater than so I have to put this current date command current date so if it's more than current date we have to remove that so in this case is 232 third one so we want to remove this so I will just click over this so it's run and now we will see the data so now, now we have removed this data from here beside that we have employees null value so we want to remove it totally so what we need to do if employee is null then we have to delete row so for that what we need, need to do we have to give the delete command here delete from clean company where employee is null so we will put here employee is null so we have employees s is also there so we put there and run this command so after executing it we can see that data so now we have removed all like where we have null values so this way we can clean and remove none values in our S my SQL database now suppose we have a table and we will like to put some uh, data here like I will put some data like I will copy this and paste it here and then I will copy this and paste it here like it, we will put some null value here. like we don't have employees uh, number here whatever number we have 
and we want to put in the null value like like if i will apply this and apply and apply finish like we have one null employee here and we want to put here the average like whatever number is there like maybe this is the number sum and we want to put some average here average of all these numbers so how we can do that so first of all i will select then what is the average here we will check that so i will put select avg and here i will put employees and then i will put as average underscore employees is the name of our new column where we will see the average from clean company this is the name of our company then i will go down and where employees is not null so we will put data and now we want to see the average so it is 26.7143 is the average now if you want to put this in our table in the null value how we can do that 26.71 so how we can do that so we have to update so we will put update clean clean company then i will put set employees equal to 27.25 whatever value is that i just forgot it but where employee is now then i will command and run this now we will see our table so we have a, a number here also so that's all in this video thank you very much for watching